The Merkava is a series of powerful tanks used by the Israel Defense Forces. They're the main tools of the IDF's armored team. These tanks started being developed in 1970, and the very first version, called the Merkava Mark I, officially joined the army in 1979. Over time, they made a few different versions of these tanks. Right now, in 2023, the newest one is the Merkava Mark IV. The tanks had their big debut in the 1982 Lebanon War, where they were used a lot. The name Merkava comes from what the IDF first called their plan to make these tanks. The Merkava Mark I and Ibai tanks were equipped with a 105 Minibritzer IMI M64 gun, a version of the M68 gun built under license. On the other hand, the Mark III, Mark III, Dordelet Baz Kassag, and the Mark IV are armed with an IMI 120mm smoothbore gun. This advanced gun can shoot various types of Western 120mm smoothbore tank, ammunition, and even the Elahat anti-tank guided missile. In each version of the Merkava, there are two 7.62 Kumioro mm machine guns mounted on the roof. These are used by the commander and loader. Another machine gun is also fixed coaxially with the main gun. Additionally, a 60mm mortar is included, which can fire smoke rounds or suppress infantry teams that are dug in. The tank was created by a team in the Merkava and Armored Combat Vehicles Division of the Israeli Ministry of Defense. Most of its parts are made in Israel. The interesting thing about the Merkava is that it was designed to keep its crew as safe as possible. To achieve this, its front armor is really strong, and unlike most other tanks, its engine is placed in the front of the tank. When creating the tank, the goals were to make it easy to fix if it got damaged in battle, to keep it strong and able to survive, to be cost-effective, and to perform well off-road. The tank's design is inspired by how modern, self-propelled howitzers are built. Unlike most tanks, its turret, which is the part that holds the big gun, is placed closer to the back. This setup, along with having the engine at the front, helps protect the tank better. If it's attacked from the front, this way, the impact of enemy shells is reduced, especially for the people inside the main part of the tank, like the driver. Furthermore, this arrangement generates additional room towards the back of the tank, facilitating greater storage capability and establishing a rear access point to the primary crew area. This feature proves advantageous for swift entry, even amidst hostile engagement. Consequently, the tank is adaptable for various roles, such as aiding medical evacuations, serving as a command center at the front lines, and functioning as an infantry combat vehicle. The unique design of the rear entrance, with its hinged doors, offers overhead safeguarding during the loading and unloading of both cargo and personnel. The Ukrainian counteroffensives have yielded a net acquisition of captured tanks. Presently, Kyiv might possess a numerical and qualitative advantage in terms of tanks compared to its aggressor. Nonetheless, the imperative remains for Ukraine to continuously acquire newer, more dependable tanks to sustain its defensive endeavors. Presently, there are indications that Leopard 2 and M1 Abrams tanks are en route to Ukraine for engagement against Russia. Back in 2004, the latest iteration of the Merkava entered active service. This version incorporates additional layers of security that build upon the safeguards previously outlined in the design. The tank has a special V-shaped armor under knot that protects it better from landmines. It also uses advanced technologies from the FAI, like special paint and heat-resistant armor, which make it harder for enemies to spot. In 2014, during Operation Protective Edge, a Merkava tank with the trophy system managed to stop an attack from a Hamas anti-tank unit right after it fired at the tank. These improvements and others make the Merkava Emuk 4 a really strong and effective tank on the battlefield. In the past few weeks, Germany, the United States, and some other European countries agreed to send armored vehicles and tanks to help Ukraine defend against Russia. Even though Israel's Merkava tank isn't among these shipments, the arrival of more advanced tanks will definitely change how things are on the front lines. But because there could be bigger problems between countries, it's not very likely that Israel will give Ukraine the Merkava tank. Israel is worried that if they do, Russia might do something in places like Syria and other parts of the Middle East as a response. With that said, thank you for watching. Be sure to hit that subscribe button and stay tuned for more.